Wishing you all love and peace. I don't know what that was, but it is Sunday. It is Sunday morning. Obviously, that means I'm on my way to church. Just wanted to intro the video here and say welcome to a new vlog. If you've been here before, welcome back. If you're new, I really hope you like what you see and you click on the subscribe button and join this 40 plus mama who is all about fitness, Christ, fashion, homemaking, all of that good stuff. Just wanted to show you my OOTD before I leave. The weather is beautiful. This is why also my head is out because it's a bit warmer today. I'm wearing this oversized blazer that I got from Coat, not Coat Corner, the other place, I'll put it here, the other place in, the other place in Alberton that sells um, secondhand thrifted coats and blazers and I've got on a long sleeved bodysuit which is from Superbalist my favorite jeans currently from H&M and I've got on my red shoes from Zara with my bag from Superbalist and some gold jewelry to you know match and uh, yeah that's me for today and I will see you guys when we come back I'm hoping to do my nails. My nails have outgrown a bit. Um, so I wanna be able to, my nose is running. Every time I put on makeup, my nose runs. Um, yeah, I wanna be, I don't know. Let's see if I will do it today. Otherwise I'll do it tomorrow, but you and I will catch up as the day goes on. You guys are gonna be in my vloggy vlog. Guys, I've been back for a while. Came back and cooked. I didn't cook with you guys because no energy I made. Um, what finally? Spaghetti and meatballs. And I'm gonna have my lunch. And and I didn't buy these. Dessert is this against my which one? What's the right English? My better judgment. I didn't even know these were going to be bought. 12 of them, 12 donuts between the four of us. That means each person gets three donuts. No, thank you. No, thank you. Also, why, 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 why? Like, why? Why, guys, like why? Why not this, even this, this is mine. I ate half of it and I'm gonna have the rest of it for dessert. Like, they they are nice, but it's not like why all of the sugar, guys, in one serving. Anyway, yeah, I'm not gonna do my nails today. I'm just gonna have my lunch. Will I? I don't know. If I do my nails, I'll do them with you. Um, but otherwise, yeah, came back my lunch. I'm gonna show. I'm gonna wash my face upload on Instagram and have a chill Sunday. Sundays are for relaxing, right? Cook lunch, go to church, come back, cook lunch. You know, watch some, I don't watch, like if I'm being honest with you, I struggle with watching TV. My husband and the kids will watch something like a movie or a series or what, I can't do that. I will, I don't know, I'll do something else. I'll either read something, just, you know, browse social media, or start cleaning around the house most of the time that's what i'll end up doing so yeah i think sundays are for that like wholesome in i don't know whatever way you describe it right there's a lot of noise in the background i'll catch up with you guys later if not today tomorrow very tricky I'm trying to get the correct lighting but because I'm in the car it's fine um, also the parking you know these guys that wash cars at the uh, parking lot 
dude has been waiting here i've been trying to you know take my time so that he goes but he's just standing there hi Ding shop thanks but Ding shop thank you <laughs> yeah because yeah i know my car is dirty disgustingly dirty but we'll get it to the car wash i think tomorrow yeah so i'm at the mall i actually just need to so i'm here to get fruit some fruit for the house and then and then a little bit uh, of some like bits and bobs ne? but also i want to go into foshini i saw there's a sale there are these track pants and it's like a set i don't know if they come together as a set but I, people wear them as a set and i really love how they sit like um you know how i've seen people wear it and i've heard that the bash um website takes long i'm hoping i find them in store because i also want to try them on i'm not sure how they sit yeah boy. so i want to be able to try them on and see or just see them sometimes when you just see a thing you can tell if it fits you or not and then i can buy them because also they're on sale you know why not and uh, yeah and then i want to get myself some flowers i saw some nice pretty roses at our local spa yesterday when i went there and i haven't been able to stop thinking about them so i'm gonna get myself some roses so yeah let's get into the mall quickly i first had to go and pre print a paper that I missed yesterday when I was printing so yeah let's go together guys here's my parking ticket one thing about me I am very very careful with my parking ticket my husband says I say one thing about me a lot and now that he said it I realize I do say it a lot so I'm gonna try and not say it a lot. <laughs> one thing about me, I'm gonna stop saying one thing about me. Let's go, guys. Pay attention, pray and listen, hear your father. These lies they told are so familiar. They will haunt you, they will kill you. Keep you hostage, king will heal you. Before him, adore him. He will give you everything. Come and take your Can't keep going back to what I used to know But please hold my hand as I go down this road Can't keep going back to what I used to know Please hold my hand as I go down this road. Can't keep going. Coughing up the mess. Drop it in the water. Let the daughter find an image with the rest. She'll be learning how to breathe. Spinning through identity, reveal another pretty little scheme. Save her mind. Hold her hand. And don't believe a lie, you understand me Walk her down the valley, pack a piece of heaven for the bottoms of her feet Teach her how to jump and how to stretch when she reach Like the angels do, and you gon' make it through now Tell about the healer, greater is the one within and call him as the leader Teach her how to hold a pretty hand up to the sky And I'ma wait up on the giver, he'll deliver like a dealer to take her higher, higher Fly out the valley and the fire Take her Running. Show her every door and how the windows let the sun in Copy out the key and tell her this is for becoming Even in the fever, baby, cry and get to running And tell her that you better get your bootstraps up You're with the army Ready when the truth act up, nothing can harm me Yelling from the roof, I touch, put up a guard and count to ten Lion's den, speaking with the higher pen Can't be touched by fire then Fast forward to the grown things now I'm working on them soul things now Forgiving all your old ways But it's harder on the cold days Cold days Never been a product of a flawless environment Never acted like I'm higher than You, 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 you 
I'm back from the shops. Um, let me do a quick haul for you guys before I pack the stuff away. It's another lot of things that I bought. Um, I got apples, some green beans. I'm gonna make this with sweet potato and chicken for dinner. And then some lemon for lemon water. Um, our favorite Woolworths cookies. Muesli with some yogurt and then just um, some some chips for for the babies and then I got a whole sack of oranges um, and then I got this cute little bunch of roses is it a bunch is it a bundle so yeah, and then I'll show you what I got. I mean, you already saw, but I'll show you again what I got from uh, Fashini and Cotton On. Impact these things and then I'll show you guys what I got. Intimate knows me fully. 
How could we hope for what is already seen? We ourselves grown inwardly. As eagerly we await to be adopted as God's children. Let me show you guys what I got. In as much as I already said you guys saw what I got, I'm gonna show you anyway because a haul is nice to do. It's a very short one, but it's a haul nonetheless. You see these shoes? I'm gonna say again, like I did with the black ones. They are not for everyone, but they are for me. Um, I've been eyeing these shoes. I don't know if you guys remember in one of the vlogs I went when I went shopping I saw these shoes. I loved them. I knew that I loved them, but also because these shoes are like Seasonal like in fashion type Shoes like these are not shoes. I'm going to wear for a long time I know that I'm probably only gonna wear these shoes this summer only this coming summer and uh, if I'm lucky the next summer and that will be it I'm not sure how because the the ballet uh, ballerina shoe trend has been around for I want to say now almost two years now so maybe another year another two years but it's not a shoe that you know I'm gonna wear for the next like five uh, ten years so I definitely didn't want to spend too much money on them so I found them I was hoping they would still be on sale because on the website on Cotton On's website they were sold out it's a nice summer shoe it's see-through like it's see-through like I'm saying it's for the it's for the fashion girl it's for those girls that are not afraid to try something outside of the norm if you know what I'm saying so yeah, they are net, they are see-through, they are stunning. I already have a million ways I'm going to wear this, these shoes. Also, the pop of color, this red is amazing. So I'm thinking blue outfit, I'm thinking black, I'm thinking white, gray, striped, polka dot, like so many ways I'm going to be able to wear these shoes so that is it I put them in a size my size is a size 6 39 uh, UK 39 but the 39 was too fitting of a, of, a, of a fit I didn't like that so I bought one I got one size bigger and then I got what I wanted at Foshini I've been seeing a few people wear these and I absolutely love the fit of them so I thought, you know, let me see if I can get, I checked on Bash's website. They have this color, they have a gray. I didn't want gray, I wanted something different. I don't have anything like that is this color. Stunning, stunning. You would have seen how they fit uh, from, from the video that I took in the fitting room. So it's a cropped top. I took a size medium. And the pants, this is what I love about the pants. They've got this double waist thing going on. I don't know if you can see that. It's giving 1990s like rappers. You know when um, Abu Ali I used to wear like baggy jeans and they would wear like Kev Kelvin Klein like men's underwear underneath and it would show the waistband. That's what it's giving. I love that. That's a nice little uh, details so yeah that's that I also got a size medium in the pants they're nice and loose at the bottom which I like so they'll go over your shoe nicely so yeah that's it that's all that I got literally literally that's all that I have oh wait 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 you guys now I've got it in the so I got stick-ons the reason why I got these stick-ons is because I started on the first, which was, yeah, what's today's date? What's today's date, babe? What's today's date? Second. Second, yes, I just wanted to make sure. So yesterday was the first of July, today is the second, and um, yesterday I started a July 
challenge workout challenge so these stickers we're gonna stick them together onto the wall I'm going to make a sticker for each day of the of the month and I'm going to be working out every single day of the month of July and the stickers are what is going to be English the stickers are what is going to be holding me accountable so it will be like a, a visual representation of every workout that I do and if I miss any I won't remove the sticker off the wall so it will be visible if I miss any workouts and a workout can be anything from a strength workout a walk it can be like a uh, what you call it like a yoga type stretch workout I'm going to be moving my body for the month of July every single day and uh, yeah so we're gonna stick these up together and uh, so I'm gonna be taking down two papers because I worked out yesterday worked out today and then I've got the rest of July so that's exciting the reason why you're so frustrated and angry and bitter is because you're functioning on an old software internally and life is demanding an upgrade and you keep pushing off the alarm saying remind me tomorrow okay so 31 pieces like I've already said I've done two days already so day one day two this is what I have for the rest of the month and this is what I'm going to cover every single day of the month I am moving my body and then next month I'm going back to my normal schedule of working out five times a week and resting for two days in preparation for spring because spring is very soon in case you didn't know so yeah I'll see you guys tomorrow and hopefully tomorrow I not hopefully I don't have plans for tomorrow I have plans for Thursday nothing that I'm doing specifically tomorrow which means we are going to be doing our nails I've got a whole my kids said I'm becoming a real nail technician because I've got like you know that electric filer thing that that thing I got that because uh, filing down with like a manual filer that wasn't working for me anymore anyway I'll see you guys tomorrow let me go cook visitors uh, time so I'm feeling kind of low my energy is low I'm feeling like I could sleep for another two hours or so anyway and I'm trying to find a workout to do so it's windy we were supposed to go for a walk today but it's too windy it's not gonna be nice it's not gonna be a nice it's gonna be a breezy walk <laughs> literally so I'm not gonna do that I'm gonna try and find a workout one thing I don't like to do anymore is jump around when I'm working out. Like, and one of them is running. I don't enjoy running anymore. I don't like the jumping around kind of cardio, which is what is on schedule today. It's body weight, hit, abs and cardio workout. Let me show you. There's a lot of up and downs and running. Like, I'd rather, honestly, I'd rather just lift my weights and walk and call it a day but 
sometimes you do need to to jump. Oh, okay, it's not bad. I'm exaggerating. Let's see. No, it's not bad at all. Okay. Yeah, but there is. You see. Come. Let me show you. Look. Why do I have to do that? Like, why do I have to do that? Uh, add to that the fact that my monkeys have started. Like, do I want to be jumping around? No. But I'm going to do it anyway. Uh, it's a 40, oh, 45 minutes. So that's what we're doing. And then after that, I'm going to do my nails with you guys. So yeah, that's, who else is competing with washing, laundry? My husband says I like to do washing. It's not that I like to do washing. There's four of us in the house. Remember the kids are also at home. They're not going to school. And it's winter. Each person wears how many layers of clothes at a time? Many. And yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know. I feel sorry for people who actually wash and iron their clothes at the same time. This is why I'm saying I can't do that. I'll wash it. Also, I cannot keep, like I've said before, I cannot keep dirty laundry in the house. So I will wash it. This is why he says I like washing. I don't like it. I don't like dirty laundry in the house. So I'm constantly doing laundry. Constantly washing clothes, folding clothes, packing clothes. Just when I think I'm done, the basket is full again. I have to do that process all over again. Summer must come. Okay. I'll see you guys later. Whatever workout I'll do, I'll do. We decided to take a walk, to go for a walk rather than me working out. Also, I'm pushing the walking agenda because uh, this guy will sit on the chair. He's already been sitting there for a few hours and he's not gonna move, right? Until night time. So if I, you know, push for us to walk, at least he also gets to move a lot, you know, because especially when he's busy, he will just pack everything that has to do with any working out and stuff. So I'm strategic in this thing. So yeah, we are killing two birds with one stone. Also, the last time we walked, we made such a pleasant experience, guys, such a pleasant experience. I met a Sabi Unolwazi and she was with her husband. It was that, that, that encounter made my day. It was so nice to meet her and and uh, she says she watches the channel with her family. They wake up at six to watch me. Like, you know, it's, it's little things like that, that that motivate you, you know, and, you know, help you keep keep pushing and keep doing what you do. So I really do appreciate it. And uh, Nolwazi, you really, really, truly, my husband was also like, what a lovely couple, like what lovely people, you know, really was a beautiful experience. So yeah. The Lord is with I literally had to come to the mall so I can get lace curtains because Cody decided to come through the window and tore curtains again. So I'm going to Mr. Price home to get lace curtains for, uh, for Lulu's room. I love him, but he is not. The mall is nice and empty. Love it for me. people don't do the responsible thing I stopped at the spa I tried to get roses to top up I couldn't find them they finished and I'm not surprised so I'm gonna top up with these and my vase they're quite pink I don't know if you can see that yeah they so yeah looks so much better now ne? I think so. It's a bit fuller now. I mean, I'm not a florist, but I think this looks so much better than what it did before. Okay.
Cause you call me by my name The love you give me I just can't deny Yeah No longer blinded I can see I'm on my way to meet you We gotta talk, you know All these trials and tribulations Got me tired, I need rest And I heard that I can come to you When weary of my flesh You awaken me from death God, I need you No more walking by the flesh That's when I leave you God told me I'm someone Told me I'm someone <laughs> My nails are done, you guys. And to say I am happy would be an understatement. The color, tick the length of my nails you saw my natural nails like my nails are the healthiest they've ever been i've been doing my nails since the beginning of the year and they are the strongest they've ever been and I'm, i don't know what it is that i'm doing right that the people at the nail salons were doing wrong because every time i would go for like a fill or whatever to remove and start over a new set my nails would feel so brittle like so so brittle so weak my nails are strong and they're growing and I'm very happy with that obviously and then also I'm happy with the shape that I went with so yeah I'll catch up with you guys I don't think I want to vlog again for the rest of the day we'll catch up tomorrow hi guys Mononi happy Thursday it's very early on Thursday morning 20 to 7 20 to 8 we're leaving in two minutes we are meeting Joey and her kids. We're going for a little cute little hike with the kids. And uh, yeah, that's going to be nice. Also, the weather is nice today. It's not too cold. There's no wind or anything like that. So it's going to be, I think it's going to be nice and pleasant. Also, it's not a hectic, like, hike. You know, because we're taking, like, I think Joey's also bringing her little one. So it's definitely going to be just, just enjoy a morning out in nature, which is going to be beautiful. So, yeah, even the way I'm dressed is just giving, I'm wearing track pants. And uh, yeah, just chilled, you know, chilled vibe. Like it's not like a, like I said, it's not like a hectic, hectic hike. So yeah, let's go. So exit. I'm confused. Okay. We are, yeah, we're here, we're waiting about, we've been here about five minutes. She says she's another 10 minutes away. So we're just gonna chill a little bit and wait for them to get here. And then we get going. Such a nice, nice day to hike. It's beautiful. I'm so glad we're doing it. Thank you, Joey, for suggesting it. <laughs> Are you guys excited? Mm, it's mm. a hike. It's, it's a hike. I don't know. Mm, it's a hike. Yeah, but I'm excited.